A PIP object can be a photo, video, or graphic that overlays another clip. Whether we're layering video or creating motion objects, PIP Designer is where it can happen. PowerDirector can use up to 99 video tracks. The highest numbered tracks have priority. Each track can be reordered. We'll start by making a simple title bar from a motion video clip. Modify takes us to PIP Designer where it can be resized. Unchecking Aspect Ratio allows us to reproportion and reposition. A watermark can be inserted in the same way. Just as we can overlay video insets and create video walls from multiple clips. Here, a produced slideshow is being set within a frame. videos and slideshows in frames, split screens to show a different view, and motion created from still images, all in PIP Designer. Keyframes can be set to control opacity, scale, rotation, position, and freeform shape. Under the Motion tab, Set the first keyframe, then the last. Extra keyframes can be added between to control speed and motion. Add some motion blur and you're away. Masking is used in video to cover up bits you don't want to see or replace them with other things. In PIP Designer, there are a number of mask templates which can be applied, repositioned, and resized. Aspect ratio can be unlocked for greater flexibility. and the mask can be inverted. In this shot, an inset clip has been masked and the edge feathered. Split-screen videos are easily achieved by masking one of the clips so both can be viewed side by side. A great feature of PowerDirector 13 is that any image can be imported as a mask. Here, a snapshot is taken, then part of it is made transparent in graphics software. In PIP Designer, the modified snapshot is imported as a mask. Now, any photo or video clip can be inserted to replace the transparent section. Multiple masks can be applied to the same clip for a bit of extra zing. Have fun exploring PowerDirector 13. <laughs>